In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to set up the MailChimp uh, newsletter plugin. Um, right now, I have the live demo site open, and you can see the uh, this form right down here. This is powered by MailChimp, and it uses uh, their WordPress plugin. Um, if you've never used MailChimp before, it's a free online uh, email marketing um, tool, and uh, they they do have paid plans, but the free free plan's really good. Um, so, all right, we're going to get started. So the first step is to, um, if you don't already have a MailChimp account, you just have to sign up for an account. Um, so you just visit uh, MailChimp.com and you can sign up right on the homepage. Um, and then uh, once you have your account, you're just going to want to log in. And after you're logged in, it'll bring you to your dashboard. Um, and if you don't already have a, um, a list created, and basically a list is what holds all of your, um, all of your users and that you can later send, send out your emails, uh, you just have to create a list. So when you log into the dashboard, you just click on lists. And this will show you any, any list that you have. And if you don't have any, uh, you can just create a new one. So right over here, create list. And uh, then you just you just give it um, you know the different properties that it asks for. You give it a name, um, the default from name. This is what where people will, people will see in their inbox. Um, so that can be your company name or something else. Uh, the default reply to email. Um, you know wherever you want people to reply to the email. Um, and uh, and that's about it. You just go through. It's all pretty self-explanatory. You just go through and and fill out all the different fields. Um, and then you know that 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 about does it for that. Um, <clears throat> then you want to go to your uh, your dashboard, and you have to download the Mailchimp plugin. So you just click on plugins, and add new. Um, and then you're going to want to type in Mailchimp list subscribe form, um, and then you just click search plugins. And it's it's going to be the first option that that shows up, uh, the Mailchimp list subscribe form plugin uh, so you just want to click install now alright so uh, it, it's all downloaded now we're just gonna choose activate plugin okay the plugins activated um, now once you have the plugin activated you'll notice down here if you click on settings you'll see it says MailChimp setup so we click on that and it asks you for an API key um, and this uh, you can generate an API key from within your MailChimp dashboard uh, so you just come back over to MailChimp and uh, from your dashboard you click on account and if you scroll down you'll see API keys and info you just want to click on that um, and if you've already created API keys they'll be listed here if not you just have to add a new one so right down here it says add a key and uh, and then it will it'll create a new one for you. Um, so you're just going to want to copy and paste. So you, you just uh, highlight the key, copy it, come back over here, paste, and then do save and check. Um, and then it, it says success. We were able to verify the API key. Um, so then it, it automatically logs you into your account. Um, and then any your list that you have. This is where you choose them from the drop-down list. So any lists that you've created in Mailchimp, um, they'll show up over here in the plugin. Now, again, a list is basically you can think of it as a database of users. So you can create different lists. You might have a newsletter list, um, uh, a new customers list, or you can just have one global list for for all your emails. Um, and then when you go to send out your emails later on through Mailchimp, uh, you can easily just select the list and it'll email to everyone on that list. Um, so you just want to go ahead and choose the uh, choose the list that you want to use and then click over here it says update list we're gonna click on that um, alright and then this and then it'll bring some settings up down here um, so there's a few different things you know that's all pretty self-explanatory so whatever you want to turn on or off um, this header content this is what will show up uh, in the footer down here this is what will show up as your as your title um, so you just enter that there. The custom styling, you want to turn this off. 
because we already um, provide all the custom styling built into the theme. So just make sure that's unchecked. Um, the submit button text. This is what the uh, this is what the button will say. Um, so you can just choose whatever you want. Um, and that's it. Once you've uh, once you've set up everything that you want, you just hit update subscribe form settings. Um, and that's about it. Now your now everything's set up for your Mailchimp. Now you just have to simply drag the widget um, wherever you'd like to on your site. Um, so we're going to click on appearance and widgets. And just for the demo, we're going to put it in the same spot as the uh, as the other demo site, which is in the fourth footer column. So right over here, we're just going to open up the fourth footer column, and we're just going to take out the text that we have in there. And uh, in here, you'll see that there's an, a new widget. It says Mailchimp widget. So you just grab that and drag it into your footer. Um, and that's it. There's no settings in here. All the settings happen within the Mailchimp setup over here. Um, so now if we come back over here and refresh, you'll see that we have our uh, subscribe form in there. Um, now this this particular list that we have only has a field for email address, um, you know, and depending on uh, what you set up within Mailchimp, it'll display whatever fields you've you've set up in Mailchimp, um, and that's about it. When someone enters their email address and they subscribe, um, it'll automatically uh, add the person to the list, and it'll automatically go through the uh, the default Mailchimp process for for signing someone else up. Um, so we hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and uh, please stay tuned.